Hello everybody, I am Bones. Today we are doing One Hour, One Life, a survival game where you are born. I am, uh, see, I'm waiting to be born here. This is uh, a stick figure animation type thing. It is normally uncensored, but thanks to YouTube finding the human body horrifying and scary, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm allowed to actually allow this little guy to have normal real human body parts despite the fact that real ones do have them uh, some things now I will tell you I have already done the I think I'm gonna die I don't think anybody's feeding me here yeah I'm gonna die I'm a baby at this level I need to be breastfed no one's breastfeeding me so I'm gonna die let's admire the artwork as I walk to my doom but people, dying. Somebody, come on, pick a brother up. All right. Uh, I've already done the tutorial. I'm gonna let you guys destroy that on your own. And like I said about the censorship thing, this uh, creator was kind enough to make a censor. Well, I think that his art style is nice. It's not over the top nudity. It's natural. It's just a human body. That's it. And I respect them dearly for having the human body. That they want to make sure that they don't, uh... That they don't like censorship normally. But they are, right now, making sure that I am being fed. You will see my little meter here grow up. Yeah, I don't, somebody called somebody a bitch ant. I don't know what's going on here. Apparently I have lots of moms going on here. Oh, that's my big sister, April. That's my grandmother. Uh, people can name people, too. Okay. I'm David. Uh, I'm just, I am apparently starving. So, I'm hoping this lady can rescue me. Somebody needs to. I can't believe I said that, but, yeah. Who was it? That's my actual mother. She's barren already. Uh-oh. Somebody better be having kids. I want to get some hair on my head. If I can last that long, I'll be alright. Oh, you will notice here. The hell happened to Grandma? Did you make a knife? Grandma died. She stabbed herself there. Curse you, April. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see, bro. I don't know what's going on with the curse stuff or all that, but I love the artwork. I love the uh, the art style. Uh, let's get this done here about the censorship. I think that we have a hang-up in this country about censorship in America. We need, uh, when it comes to the human body, why is that less acceptable than tons of gore? Why is nudity so over the top that we do not allow it? Uh, I don't, I don't know, personally. I really don't know. I don't get it at all. So that seems silly to me, personally. I think this is me here, it is. So I am right here. There is, uh, who are you? That's Lord Eccleson, my first cousin. That is Grant Eccleson. I am David. I'm guessing Eccleson. There's Solstice, my niece. June, my big sister. Monica, my grandmother. Uh, and... What the hell? Uh, Tanya something, my aunt, Buford, my nephew. I have a nephew called Buford. That's the real takeaway, isn't it? Um, no, I feel like my what do you call it is getting to be worse here. Okay, cool. I can kind of talk a little now. Uh, now you'll notice before I was only typing F, the reason is because I didn't have a lot going on now. Now I, now I do have stuff going on here. Allow me. Mm 
Teach me skill. I feel like my kid is basically the the uh, ridiculously Jesus. It's the bone piles of, of human bones. So, I do not know at all what I'm doing here. I can make different things. So I want to make a, a uh, basket or something. Okay, there are green areas to the right. I'm going to hold the hell out of the ground for people. Let's at least help out a little around here, shall we? Apparently they do not appreciate my help. So, as you're a kid, you cannot speak all the words, you have to speak a bit of words. Now I can eat some gooseberries. Where the hell am I then? Okay. I'm going to take this stone. I do know how to make one small thing, and that is this. A sharp stone. Um, now, from the west, they need rope, did they say, I believe? Rope. So let's go around here and see if we can find rope. Um, now, a few things right off the bat. I found the tutorial to this game pretty easy. Had a few small instances that I didn't understand, but I found the problem was not the game, it was me. I needed to read it better. The art style, I really enjoy. Um, I think it's pretty neat. I don't really understand all of it, but so far I do like it. I'm going to go grab myself just a gooseberry here. Eat a little num nums, and then I'm going to go down here and pick this up. We're going to go get some rope. This is it from the west, but I think the east must be where I must go. We'll see. Let's see, oh, there's another sharp stone. Let's put this one up here for my people. Please, and thank you. I think this is string. Is that string? That's a worm. That's not string at all. That's a dry bean pod. I'm trying to find stuff for them. I'm a little hungry. Um, something stump. What can I find? Oh, that is a dangerous looking thing that will probably kill me, so let's not play around with that thing, eh? How about that? How about we don't kill that thing? Now, as David, I suck at this right now, but we're gonna go get better with it. We are. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do to start with. Let's go get this. I think I can actually put this down, pick this up, and toss it in there. No, I cannot. I can only carry one other thing. So first, let's go carry this back to my people and toss it down for them to enjoy. Some uh, some other things here that they need. What is that? That's milkweed and thread. Let's toss it down there. And I am going to go and grab more things for them. And maybe gather. Not really hunter. Not very good at hunting right now, but I'm trying to be. Oh, no, my food here is not doing great. I feel like I hungry is more than I'm not hungry now. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go drop this. I kind of just left my tribe, didn't I? Probably not the best of ideas, guys. Um, but no, so in this game, the developer has an option. If you're going to stream it, like I am, of course, streaming or not streaming, recording, you get the idea. Um, they have an option, and I think it's very gracious of them, 
that because they themselves don't believe in censorship, they haven't put a no nudity option in the game because, and I agree with them, the nudity in the game is not distasteful at all. It's not even really a huge issue, honestly. Uh, it's just something that's in there because people are natural beings who have nudity. Um, so it's not done for any sexual purpose. It's honestly no worse than the rest of the drawings. It's not something that's out of place or exuberantly bad or anything. I feel um, all of the art in this is quite charming, personally. If I had a, a pick, I will be totally honest with you. I think all of it is pretty cool. Um, so to me, I think it's silly that, let's be honest, YouTube would probably throw a fit about it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to poop or eat or anything. Uh, I do like that YouTube allows people like me to stream. That this is a thing that happens. I don't like that I myself am not allowed. That I'm not allowed to do anything else other than uh, this sort of stuff because for a while we had a not safe for work channel and it didn't work well and the reason it didn't work well guys is because at the end of the day uh, we, we just couldn't get it working really uh, uh, we had two games on there and Haiti the nude walkthrough of Haiti apparently was bad enough and mind you Haiti is not a game with anything bigger than just nudity but that alone was enough for them to go and go nuts on me with it. So I did not appreciate that at all. Um, and they took it down. So now I don't have a not safe for work let's play anything. Um, maybe I will down the road. And a horse just came up to me. I don't know what the hell that was about, high horse. Um, but I do know that I'm not going to chance teeing them off twice. Um, I do think it's a little odd, however, like I said, when I see tons and tons and tons of channels that have much worse, in my opinion, than they do. Okay, I don't really know what the hell we're doing here. We're just going to go through and grab, take all of this straight back there to my peoples. I'm good at gathering right now. Uh, I feel like all these other dudes are so good with everything else that I would be remiss to try and be as good at them as them at just gathering. I do not know enough about gathering to be uh, everything just moves really quickly. I feel like if I would have paid attention to the recipes better as I should, I feel like I'd be better at this. Shit, I didn't accidentally need to take that. What did I take? Here. <laughs> there. Um, I just want the short stone dude, that's all. I'm gonna go out and do some cutting. And you make something with it. There's an empty full soil pit like a big hard rock. The big hard rock's in a rock. And make a sharp stone. So there is a wormy worm. I don't think we need a wormy worm right now. I am looking for some rope for us. That's just a damn leaf. There's a straight branch. There we go. Now we're talking. There's flint chips and a bunch of sharp stones. Oh shit, and I'm literally starving right now. So let's see what else we can grab. Oh my god, dudes. Alright, I got it. Also, I have quite a life meter, if you see. So I eat a lot now, guys. I don't mean to eat a lot, but apparently Jorge here does. There is a giant bean pod. Uh, there is just a flint chip. I am trying to find us something akin to uh, uh, rope, man. Where the hell is the rope? Looking for rope for us. Can I make it in this great desert? Will Rope Quest 2000 work? I don't know. Um, but yeah, as I'm saying in a nutshell here, guys, uh, I think this is a beautifully done game. 
Uh, everything that I'm doing here, most of this is, it, it's all mouse. I haven't even really touched the keyboard. So, if you can believe that, this is literally just on mouse right now. Obviously, you want to avoid those jerk pan snakes. There's Alan. Would they like Alan? Probably. What would they use it for, I wonder? I don't know. I really feel like rope would be good to grab them right now as well. What I need to do is watch a few videos of people playing this and get to hang out more. So I can see how a proper tribe works. But, the gist of this game is this. You're part of a tribe. You want to help your tribe work good, do things, get all the stuff done. Right now I'm basically an idiot who's sightseeing and doesn't know what I'm doing at all. So I'm not exactly a great tribe member. I want to be more productive. So what I'm actually going to do after I feed this time is simply ask somebody flat out, how do I help more? I'm not Daisy, but I'll get out of the way there. What can I help do? We're part of a tribe, guys. That is me you now with my crate secret. Oh, that is me with the door care. Can't try. To kill. Don't kill me, shit. Alright, that is a raw berry pie. Let's not do that. Oh, for God's sake. Alright, they're not telling me anything that I need to do. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start just doing stuff on our own. Go collect some dirt, guys. I'm gonna get some dirt. F is in this one. Rabbit bones are in this one. We're gonna toss on the rabbit bones there. Go take this and go get some dirt. So, dirt it is. Now they will see that I am a good hunter-gatherer. Look what I have brought you all. Worms. Worms, people. I have brought you the worms and the stuff. With worminess. And them. I'm not doing very well, guys. I eat gooseberries. But I feel like I need something better than this worm pits here. What else can I get you guys here? That's what the fudge I need. An omelet, baby. What is this? I need this, I need this. And I make. I'm gonna make shit. Okay, there's a big hard rock. Come on, baby. Jerk. Okay. So, uh, we need water. Clay ball found in water. 
how do I make the clay ball? I feel like I need to jerk around in this game a bit and learn how to make more things. Hold on. Empty water pouch, pound for water pouch. For water pouch, empty water pouch. Desich. Maybe just ball. Clay ball. Now, if you guys notice here, what I did is I looked up how to make uh, recipes. Um, and that's what happens when you when you actually inquire something there is that you will find out how to make it as I just did. I almost died there. I don't know the first damn thing about a stone hatchet, but we're gonna keep trying to make get on something. I want to be more productive for my tribe. See how I make a basket, guys, eh? Let's try some different recipes. Sharp stone, tow weeds. So let's look up some tow weeds. Like these things are good. What's that there? What's that? Meanwhile, I'm being replaced with better and better people. Now, there are clothes in this game. There are. We're running around butt ass naked. Because we are simple folk of the uh, Hula Hula tribe. Of, uh, I made that shit up. Uh, right now, I'm going to say this game is a riot. I enjoy it quite a bit there. Uh, basket, fertile soil. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to take this basket and go to the upper right corner so I can at least start getting something for people. Screw the worms. We need to get... Yes, sir. No, you dick. That's what the F I'm talking about, baby. Now I'm a soil gatherer, guys. I have graduated literally to something a child could do as a grown ass man. This is my legacy, y'all. This is my legacy. But I gotta say, I do feel uh, better now that I'm actually helping my tribe do something. Uh, do they even notice? Probably not. I, I certainly would not notice my minimum effort. I feel like I have literally just created the first slacker. Like, if there was a cave, a tribe of cavemen, and that's kind of what we are, then they've got to be like, oh, that David, lazy ass. So I do. I feel like I am literally just. That's all I'm doing there is uh, literally just punching nothing off here on people. Um, so no, we are going to uh, keep going with soil. Bring it to my people. Shit. I'm, I really need to eat before I do much else, so we're going to eat first. I died of starvation. We're going to get reborn see how we do this time, guys. Different people. Now, F typically I notice means food, so that's why I'm picking F for you guys. Did they just literally diss me to die? Jesus, the hard realities of being a kid in the wild, eh? Is there a, uh, can I find an F implant to feed myself then? You shitty ass mom, are you gonna leave me to die like that? What a jerk. I literally just. You guys just saw that shit, that was cold. How are they gonna be? I feel like this is a tribe I was in. 
<laughs> nope, different one. So this is a multiplayer game, guys. Uh, I don't know if I said that already, but if I did not, I should. Look at my weird ass looking kid. See that face? That's a face I make when I've had too many drinks right there. That is the exact factual face. I feel like that would be fun. Um, oh god, a psychedelic mushroom right up there. If, uh, drown. So worms are good for soil pets, apparently. I don't know where this lady's taking me, but I'm just gonna rock it and go wherever she wants me. And, uh, it's like, man, she is on this. Look at that, guys. The food meter is good. She doesn't even let me start to need food. It's amazing. Isn't it? This is crazy. I'm terrible. So, there must be, like, a manual to tell you how to do this stuff as well. But, uh, I think it's cool that... So you do kind of build, like, a, a repertoire with people. Uh, the speech... Let's talk about that a little here. You guys saw me typing F. I learned uh, yesterday, I, I tried a game or two of this, and learned that typing F means food because uh, you can't type much when you're a little one. As you get older, you can type bigger and bigger sentences. Um... Which is kind of a cool thing, because it does give you a certain sense of urgency to age, and it also makes for some interesting interactions, doesn't it, guys? Because I have to figure out, for example, in certain cases, you saw there, I had to type one word at a time and keep hitting enter to save full sentence. So the kids, uh, say less, um... You know, so, oh, okay, so they're doing this there, and then I'll probably do that. So I'll probably be doing what little dude there is doing pretty soon. Hi, guy. Oh, my God. I'm gonna worm the shit out of something here. Can't believe this is it, guys. Can't believe this is it. Nope, I can't do anything, can I? I came down where she can grab me again. Where she can. Okay, she grabbed me. So she is nursing me before I'm even on full. Uh, and as you can see, there's clay, uh, pine needles, baskets, carrots. Uh, there's alum. So there's really a lot you can do in this game, by the way. I just want to point out there is a lot of stuff that you can make in this game. And uh, it's pretty impressive, actually. Um, even yesterday, as I was going through this, there was a lot of stuff there that I thought was pretty neat. And I uh, felt like that was pretty cool to, to end up doing. So what I'm going to do here is help them... Apparently, I need to have some numbers. I think a basket can only hit pull three things, yes. So I'm out with it. Now I will ask it right. L, two, two. Want to help more? Good eggs. So, where? So now she's literally picking me up to show me where to get eggs, so then I'll go get eggs. So it is an interesting game, because unlike a lot of uh, current Rust-like survival games, this one is a co-op, but there's a need for a co-op. So 
now go and get eggs for the tribe. What if I can bring them? Uh, is there a basket free? That's a clay ball. I need a basket if I can, guys. No basket for me. Now, before I go on that treacherous little trek there, let me go and uh, get some num num seed, please. Any num nums are good. I need some damn num nums, bitches. There we go. Now I'm going to go get eggs. So finally I have learned a useful skill for tribes. I will be an egg gatherer. Um, but no, like I'm saying, it's interesting to me because you really could see how in other games... Oh god, that was a effing boar. I don't want to mess with that boar, dude. That thing will mess me up, I think. You can see how it's much more important in this one, for example, to actually be able to go and do some of that stuff. Oh, I can't. Oh, I guess I can. Um, so I enjoy that part of this one. I think it's interesting that they have made a game where being social does really help. You know, I mean, you, you do have a certain need, for example, to be able to go and do this. And I see the fruits of my effort by surviving tribe versus another game where, eh, you know, I mean, let's let's talk about Rust for a minute, shall we? Rust, uh, my brother gave me a copy of when it first came out. Um, and it was a hilarious, albeit crazy game that I just personally did not get the hang of and uh, did not really care for much. Um, and a lot of you are going to be like, Sacrilege, it's Rust, but uh, shut it, frankly, because I liked. S eh. I feel like I wanted to like Rust. The hilarity of it was good, the comedy of it was good, but. I feel like it's one of those games that the the older you are, the more real life stuff you gotta deal with, the less you're gonna like Rust simply because you've got other stuff to deal with. And that's that's the sad truth of it, guys. It's not uh, having servers that constantly have wipes, it became a game that I just I couldn't keep up with work and other real life stuff. And a game where every time I turned around, I had to rebuild the same base over and over. It just wasn't worth it to me. Um, as it probably shouldn't be. Um, so, in the long run, Rust became a thing that I, myself, just stopped, uh, stopped playing and taking an interest in. And that's, that's no slight on anybody. That's just what, uh, you know, that's just me. Um... Although, uh, Deadly Optics, still a great, uh, server company, still good servers, and good people on those servers. Uh, I just, myself, had to retire from Rust because real life got too hectic, I couldn't hang with it after a while, and it just becomes something that I, uh, I didn't really know what else to do. So yes, in this lovely educational game, you have seen me gather, finesse, bring eggs. I am curious as to what's up with uh, this little. We're gonna we're gonna play with uh, this other stuff out here too a little while I'm here. First, I have enough to set this down. What's that? That's rose matter. And for once, not the Stephen King novel. I got three more eggs. I'm going to put the eggs there. I'm going to go back in a minute, but I'm curious as to what the hell this is. Oh, shiz. Let's go bring wheat 
I'm gonna go back and get the egg basket. Now I know some of you are screaming at me right now, going, no, oh, you're gonna lose the egg basket, but somehow in this game, even without a compass, I feel like you are never really that far away from where you're trying to be. Um, now I'm not saying it's not a big area, I feel like it's a big enough area, I just feel like I'm probably doing alright with that. Alright, so I ate a carrot for once, and if y'all don't like that, eat it. Bite me, I don't care. But yeah, I forgot, there are food multipliers in this game as well. Uh, so the takeaways of this game, or this game in a nutshell, this is a feature I think I'm going to start doing that you guys would like. I, I would like it, so I'm going to start it. Um, Hand-drawn graphics, clearly. Beautiful scenery. Love the art style. I think it's amazing. Multiplayer. Interesting communication. Crafting. Interesting, uh, interesting everything with us. You know, very, very cool the way they've done this game. Uh, good social game, I feel. I do. I feel like this is a great, great uh, piece of effort uh, that's being done here. I do. I feel like this is a great uh, piece of effort. Um, I feel like this is a sort of game that if you like multiplayer games, uh, you would dig it. I feel like if you like games where you can play a multiplayer game where you don't have to grief people, you'd probably like it. If you can only play them where you have to grief people, this probably isn't the one for you. Um, but if you want something different, and you're sick of a thousand multiplayer games with zombies, as I get, uh, I, I, and I'm a horror fan, I'm still sick of the effing zombies in multiplayer games now. Guys. There are cooler monsters out there. Alright, can we start getting into some other monsters, please? Zombies ahead, they're fun, but come on, guys. Is that, I mean, is that really where we're at? Just all the time? Holy oh, shiz, that's a rattlesnake. Um, just them with zombies, that's it. Nothing else appeals to you guys. Because to me, I'd like to see other creatures represented, you know? I know years ago they were going to redo the creature from Black Lagoon, they never did. So I'd like to see that done again, I think. That would be a cool one, right? The the creature from the left again. I always liked that one. Um, but yeah, I know they were going to bring him back for a while. I don't know what happened there. And yes, I just assumed it's gender. I don't, I don't really care, dude. It's fine. So, yeah, I do think that would be an interesting one to do. I don't know if they ever will, but I think it would be a good one to try and do. Yeah, I ate a carrot. I feel like they were going to yell at me there in a minute for eating a carrot, but oh well. I'm a gatherer, I'm allowed to eat something. Speaking of eating, I should probably cook a little more than I have. I didn't cook much, so maybe I'll go soon and make some food. But no, I, uh, I, w I will say this about this game. It's charming. It's easier to get into than you think. The mouse controls are very intuitive. I click and hold. Uh, you don't got to drag. You just click and hold as you're walking with the left mouse button, which does most things. The right one does uh, pick up, dr drop, stuff like that, uh, and basically kill, kill things you can with it. So it does that one. So yeah, uh, so all of that stuff, all of that that you have seen me play is just pretty much with the mouse and the, the dragging and all that. So, interesting game. Very interesting game. I enjoy it. Uh, I highly recommend it. Definitely feel like it's a good one. I'm not a crafter. I seem to be a gatherer. Now there are people who are crafters. Oh, you can see there my food meter went up. Yeah, yeah. Let's go grab this for them, right? There's a U branch. You! I choose you! How about that, uh... I know Gary's supposed to be watching the, uh... Pikachu thing soon. I don't know why he hasn't. So, Gary, get with that, buddy. Uh, Puppets React is coming back. For all of you out there who have been asking us tons about it, and there have been a lot of you who have been asking us tons about it. Yes, Puppets React is coming back. It's not gone. 
it took a hiatus while we were working on a few other things, and uh, while there was a little thing um, that yours truly uh, had gone through personally, which was boom. How do I feed him? Can I feed him? That's my daughter. Okay. Uh, we're going to call him Shelly. Basically, you're supposed to be breastfeeding the kid, is what's happening here. Let's give them some encouragement. Good BB! You will grow strong. Let's get a little blind from up in here. Uh, one of these kids is adopted, and it ain't mine. <laughs> Sorry guys, I couldn't help that joke. Uh, so no, it's an interesting game though, despite me goofing around in a little here, uh, with uh, apparently a daughter my lady has, I didn't even know I had, but I have one now. So I basically inherited a daughter. That's, that's crazy. Um... We're going to use this. See what else I can dig up out of these sons of bitches. Nothing? Nothing already. Let's go get it. Give them even more stuff. Get everything for them. Gather them everything. Gather every little thing in the world here. Um, so no, this is the uh, game. I hope you guys enjoy this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I could probably play it all freaking day if I didn't actually have other things I had to be doing. But I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I I'm tempted. Um, to cancel a few real life meetings and play, but, uh, yeah. But yes, here's truly, folks. Uh, the wedding has finally happened. Uh, we could not be happier. Somebody already asked me, is it different to being married? But I will tell you all, the only thing that really happens is if you marry somebody decent like I did, um, better than decent, uh, then you will know exactly what I'm going to say here, is that it doesn't feel uh, that much different, because we already pretty much know exactly what the other person's like already. Uh, communication is the most important thing for all of you young people out there, please remember that. Um, I don't care if you're not even married, even if you're just dating somebody, talk to that person, talk. Uh, and also, man, never let anybody disrespect you and call you names or swear at you like that or get and put you down. If they do, don't be with that person. 
Really. That's anybody. Guy, girl, I don't care what you call yourself. Don't anybody put yourself through that nonsense. You're better than that. I don't even know you all. And I can tell you, don't put up with that. I did in a bad relationship. Don't do that. Um, so no. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you wonderful subscribers out there. We have certainly blossomed over time, bigger than I thought we would ever be. And uh, hopefully we'll keep on growing with all you wonderful people out there. I know we enjoy having you. Watch our Let's Plays, which can be silly, ranty sometimes, as today's was. I, I do apologize there. Um, this is probably the most functional tribe I've seen in this game of greatest. Like I said, I'm curious to see how long I could go, but I don't want to make this a four-hour video, because I think we could just keep going all day with this tribe. Um, and sadly, I do have other things I need to do. It's not even worked out yet today, so... Running a little behind, guys. Running a little behind. Um, I know. So, uh, yeah, we have a few things we want to do again. We have four story time for grown-ups in the works. Uh, we have three Puppet 3 Act videos, including... We're thinking of doing the Epic Rap Battle series to tell you all what the puppets... Who do Bones and... Sh or who do Gary and Shelly think... Uh, will come out on top of the old Epic Rap Battles. You guys remember the Epic Rap Battle series? Great series. I haven't watched them uh, in a while myself, actually. So we thought about having uh, Gary and the... Oh, God. Oh, my God. So yeah, this is an interesting thing so far. Um, let's take another little look. And like I said, if you play the normal game, just be aware there will be some boobuses and all that. But, you know, not over the top. Just normal, everyday, real human nudity. Not real, drawn human nudity. You know what I mean. Human nature looking nudity. Not anything like gross or sexual. Um, this game is very well done. Uh, definitely a cool game. One of the most unique ideas I've seen in gaming so far. Because the birth thing plays such a big part, and it is a great idea. It really does make you want to help uh, everybody else. Just to be able to be in something like this. Like, there's this dude here. I don't know who he is. But... Alright, so we got people gathering. I'm running butt naked. I should probably eventually make some clothing for myself. Um, but no, right now, we're going to call it quits here, guys. So, thank you so much. So, yeah, see, those are the... Those are them, right? Um... Anyways, uh, I am Bones. Thank you guys for enjoying. Make sure to click the link below to pick this game up for yourself and give us a like. Let us know what you guys think uh, of the game and what puppets react things you guys want to see done. Okay, have a good day.